CJ and Sauce and yours truly, the Chill mm-hmm. Scrub. The first episode today is brought to you by niggas bitching by, by the coma. What's up with that, man? <laughs> Season three, we got some bitches out here, man. Bitches, out, niggas out here complaining for no reason. So what's really good? Tell us how you really feel. Starting with Tanez, because he, he got the most to say. All right, Tanez, introduce yourself, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Fight. <laughs> <laughs> but how do you feel about the buffs? Wait, no, is the no. question. Cause what's we got so. Some... What's your reasoning on the buffs, my guy? You know what I'm saying? You know, okay. you you don't feel anything about the buffs? Like like you you out of here, LTT. They they are out here. Li- they're livid about the buffs. Hey, have you not seen LTT? Oh my God, Okuma is just overpowered. And you know, they I, I I feel where you're coming from, but you don't you don't hear these fucking idiots. They over here crying, talking about shit that he had in season one. Now all of a sudden his down three is is, is some, somehow invincible. All right, so Tanez, my question for you is right. Why don't you like the two D characters? You know what I'm saying. You feel they cheap. You feel they take less <clears throat> skill. You know what I'm saying. Less execution. To take more damage off your health. What's up? Why did you leave the, the the fucking the game, bro? <laughs> Nigga, um, I ain't had no bars with CJ. Okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> Every character do too much damage right. at the wall. <laughs> that depends on who it is, Chief. Man. What character in this game don't do too much damage at the wall? At the wall. Lee. Bullshit. <laughs> nah, Lee, Lee, Lee does a. He does a grip. Have you not? Have you not seen nah, down nah, four, nah, four, nah, up three? Have you not seen yeah, the damage? Yeah. But no, me and C- Go ahead. but me and CJ, we was having this interesting talk before the podcast started. We was talking about uh, Akuma and like people are just reacting like he just never had this stuff. He he just never had down three and jab uppercut as a punisher with meter. We, 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 they just act like this just just never happened. He just never had these tools. They were just never available. I think a lot of no, people are riding the season three uh, hype train, you know, because the main man Swede and all them niggas said it, it. It must be true. We don't have a mind of our own, you know. The main man Swede. <laughs> <laughs> no hey, shots at the main man Swede, bro. You're a cool dude. It's just your fans. <laughs> on like real shit, like I was in LTT today, man, and I seen a lot of niggas bitching about Akuma and Geese, and it's like, bro, just stop bitching about it. Like, nigga, just play the game. Like, bro, this is like, bro, he ain't nothing to bitch about. No, I, what I feel about this, though, it's, it's forcing people to stop being fucking lazy, honestly. It, it really is. Like, now you have to sit here and lap this character. Beforehand, in season one, you'd have to lap him because nobody was really paying him like that, besides, like, Rickster. My, was... my, my, my thing is, right, um, I feel like Tekken 7 in general has forced a lot of people to get good at the game because before, you know, there were a lot of casuals. You know they they were playing these offline modes. You know where's where's Tekken Force? Where's nigga? Where is Tekken Force? Tekken Force? Force was fucking fire. <laughs> I mean that's that's good. That's 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 good and all, but at the same time, those modes were preventing people to actually get good because they was having so much fun with those game modes. They didn't care about actually getting good at the core game itself. And that's I feel why that. I, I kind of that's why I kind of mm-hmm. like Tekken Seven because it forces people like myself to actually get good at the game. Well, this game was made for uh made for tournament play, really. It's, it's catered towards yeah. tournament players. But this bitch, you know, yeah, like it's the, most, it's the most balanced is is taken as ever been. Just, just tag me in real quick. I I, I got to add a point to that. With the with the surge of new competitive players, it's been a surge of bitching too from the community oh, about yeah. these damn characters. Lazy asses. Yeah, because it's it's it's. I I feel like it's a lot of people um that are new to Tekken and they're trying to put in their two cents. And when yeah. Tekken 7 is the first Tekken that they probably they ever, ever played, played. or yeah. probably the first Tekken that they were good at. I feel I, that, but I, like, I my, go, ahead. That. go ahead. I wholeheartedly agree to that, though, because it's just like, man, it's just a lot of niggas who just came 
into the scene when this game dropped and when it started getting big and shit in the FGC community. So it's like a lot of people, a lot of people, it brought new, a lot of newer players, you know what I'm saying? Because to me, it's a new friendly game for real, for real. So it brought a lot of new players and shit with the whole rage mechanic, all the other shit like that. The you extra know, so rage mechanics. Like, yeah, the extra rage mechanics, the extra bullshit you can do online. <laughs> I mean, I've seen so much bullshit being done online, man. That shit, it's, it's still funny to this day. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... But it's I feel like... Easy. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Let, let me add a point to that. Let me add a point to that, because I got an interesting point to make that most people ain't thinking about. <clears throat> uh, do, you, uh, do you agree or don't disagree that with this being said, like, there's a surge of people making content like uh, King J... May Man Sweet and all this other stuff. Has it crippled the community when it comes down to things like Akuma and making them lazy? Because now they don't think for themselves. There's nobody digging this stuff up for themselves. Now, my personal favorite te uh, Tekken game would be Tag 2 because that game, there was not enough, there was not there wasn't enough people making content for the game, so you really have to f figure it out for yourself. Now that you have people just doing all the work for you, including my myself right now, nobody wants to do the, do the information on their own. So let's say... Cough, cough, the main man, sweet, like I said earlier, says Akuma's broken or Akuma's fucking, he, he, he does too much damage or whatnot. Like Kazooie, like Kazooie doesn't, doesn't do a shit ton. Everybody just rides with it. It's it's like a cult-like following. I, 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 I don't like, like it. I, I don't like, like it. Unrelated to the topic, it's like a big artist like Beyonce. It's like her, friend, her fans have like a cult following, so they'll like follow anything that she does or whatever and won't care about it, you know what I'm saying? That's just mm -hmm. like that, you know what I'm saying? CJ, and what's your take up. on it? Um, I love how I mean, you said fuck Malik Point, but I ain't going to hit Alright, bro, we hear you. We hear <laughs> you. <laughs> I'm playing, I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> nah, um... And shouts out to Soul oh, Brother, man. God. Welcome to the podcast, dog. <laughs> Thanks for joining. Shouts out to Soul Brother. I don't know, like, uh, things like that, like, I, I really don't want to blame the content creators themselves. Like, I feel like, of course, everybody has a mind of their own. So I can't say, oh, well, the reason why people are saying this and this is because of Main Man. Well, no, they, they chose to think that because of Main Man. Main Man is not telling them, hey, you need he to... He didn't tell them, but, like, my they... Point, Go ahead. My point only. He's not telling them, like, overtly, yo, what I say is, is law, but people just don't think for themselves they're like they don't take what he says okay yeah that makes sense let me try it for myself and come to my own conclusion they just go with well the main man swede and don't get me wrong i like the main man swede does the things he says i agree with and things i disagree with but that makes me fucking normal they don't them on the other hand them, them is zombies them are fucking resident <laughs> evil 2 zombies <laughs> Zombie. <laughs> oh, man. you still don't have a mind they all like well, what is what is thinking Listen. Mm -hmm. Okay, so another thing I was talking about too earlier uh, with CJ before we started the, the podcast was people uh, using other people's credentials in the in the FGC as their own to make their argument. I don't agree with that. Oh yeah, I really yeah, I do not agree with I that. Agree. I don't agree with that either. Hey CJ, um, after this um, match, leave the lobby and come back because I had left the lobby and I came back and I started getting bars with you. All right. Um. Yeah, like. I, that's 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 one of my pet peeves like they'll be like oh well since uh i'll just say me for example well since me, me said it, it 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 must be true it has it to be, be true. Yeah, I that got doesn't you. mean anything that that just means that's his opinion that's like, his opinion I, I, yeah. I, I was telling somebody that in in, in a facebook group like well, at the end of the day everybody of what these people are saying they're all opinions they're not facts and that's mm -hmm. what and that's what people are getting them confused by well since me said it it must be a fact like no, that doesn't mean it's. Bro, and that's just, he, that's just his opinion. Tag me in real, tag me, tag me in real quick, bro. I'm, I, I got, I got a point right now, bro. And it, it's finna, bro. You are gonna be like, yo, this nigga's flames. All right, so what happened was, remember in season one where everybody said Akuma was trash, even the top ranking players were saying Akuma was trash. Mm -hmm. That proved that was proven to be wrong. That that was definitely proven to be wrong, and it's not because of season three because his his buffs are not that fucking significant. He didn't just fucking just gain a whole new fucking uh a, a new letter on the fucking tier list. He's still fucking He's Akuma. He's still Akuma, dog. It's just that now people have to learn the matchup. The people are now playing him to his full potential. Yeah, remember in fucking uh before the game came out, people said Shao Yu was S tier. Where is that now? Mm hmm. People don't think for themselves. Matter. Like I, I say for myself, when the game first came out, I said Law is broken. I was say, season one, I'm like, yo, this character's fucking retarded. He, 
and they kept buffing him. I'm, I'm trying. What the? F and then now, now mm -hmm. fucking main man. So we made a video like a month ago saying that uh, Law might be slick. STM. Now people want to hop on the bandwagon. I'm like, nigga, I've been saying this shit since Speed Kicks been saying this shit since season one. Yeah. But people don't have a mind of their own. That's fucking weird. My whole my whole take on that really is like my bad for interrupting you, bro. No, I'm good. My, my point was done. Okay, my my whole take on that is like basically Akuma been this strong since season one. It's just I guess people wanted to get on that uh, hate train about his damage being too much by the time season three hit and people started one maybe like one or two tournaments with him basically. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Super Akuma just won a tournament not too long ago. Mhm. Mm and I mean now people want to talk about basically. Every person, like like CJ has said when he made a post on LTT about it, like every person, um, any, any anybody wins a tournament basically in the Tekken 7 FGC, you know what I'm saying, whatever, everybody talking about, some, oh, that character needs to get nerfed, all this and that, and it's like, for what though? It's like, you, you niggas just bitching, y'all not trying to learn the matchup, and then y'all want to be lazy when y'all want to try to learn the character, and you know what I'm saying, all that shit. Like, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, mm -hmm. what's up now? Welcome to the podcast. But yeah, I understand what you're saying, though. That's, that's what I've been harping on for, like, forever. But nobody wants to listen to good old Scrub because Scrub doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. I mean, you got people in LTT and fucking, uh... LTT, fucking other group chats, talking all this shit. With nothing, with no credentials to back it up. I got in an argument uh, with somebody earlier, and I was asking them, so what are your credentials? What do you think about the game? Right? Makes sense, right? Fair question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got no answer. They kept bringing up somebody else. I'm like, don't bring up somebody else when I'm talking to you. Bring up your credentials. What have you brought to the game? Mm. Right. Yeah. Like people, like, again, this is why I uh, I stop myself. I like, I'm not finna sit here and keep talking shit. If I'm not finna go to no tournaments, I'm not finna put out no content. Nobody puts out any content. Here's why I say everybody follows the main man Swedes formula. People just stream the main man Swede streams. Everybody else fucking streams. The thing about the main man Swede, in, 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 in my mind, is opinion. He copied Aries Aries's formula. formula. Like, you know how Aries be like, how he he'll like uh live stream like Tekken tournaments and he'll like put commentary next to the tournament. Mm -hmm. that. He, he stole that straight out of Ares. Ares been doing that shit for years. But see, Ares had clout way before the main man Sweet was even relevant. The the, the main man and King J stole uh, exactly. Ares' formula. But see, when people think about it, they just say, they'll just say the main man Sweet. But my thing is, when it comes with that, people, I have to give uh, main man Sweet credit where credit is due. He put out actual content just besides streaming. He actually put out tutorials, guides, opinions, uh, chats, all kinds of things. Niggas ain't doing that. Uh, niggas are just streaming. I mean, streaming is cool and all, but where's the content? And people wonder why they don't grow. And to lead on to my next segment, the clout chasing. How are how is anybody supposed to grow in this tech community if no everybody's clout chasing? That is one of the most things that turns me off about this game is the clout chasing. That shit is is really annoying. Yeah, it is. I mean, that's that that type of stuff. I just look at entertainment. It doesn't mm -hmm. really get to me. It's entertainment only until it just becomes it becomes repetitive and boring. Again, there are certain things that see to this day I found out some tech that I've never seen anybody use against a fucking law match. There's this thing where I've shown I've shown it in one of my videos in one of my tutorial videos where if you get hit by the second hit of uh of junkyard I will let it hit me on purpose because I could just sidestep left and the sec the third hit will completely whiff every single time. Nobody has yet to do it. Now watch this though. Let the main man sweet or not just the main man sweet because I'm leaving him alone. Let me tomorrow post the exact same clip. Next thing you know, I'm copying fucking me. When you can look at the date of the video. Right. That's the thing I don't like about LTT. Like the thing about the tech community, they don't care about if it's fact. They just care if you're popular. They don't care about the fact of the matter. They just, they just want to mm -hmm. know if you're popular or not. I could say something to them blue in the face that's completely right. They wouldn't listen to me, but if me says it, and he could be absolutely wrong, which 9 times out of 10, he's not. He could be absolutely wrong, but they're going to say me's right. I, I, I never understood that. I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. All that is really just a popularity contest for real, for real. So, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna be like, you know, you may probably know more more than that person that's more known than you, but people, they just like, oh, fuck with this nigga who nobody knows about talking about. I'm listening to the nigga that everybody knows, basically. So, 
That's just all they gonna do. Tenez, you part of this goddamn podcast, boy. What's up, man? Well, tell tell us your point yeah, of view. Tenez, what's up, Tenez, nigga? You ain't been saying nothing. What, what's up, man? We need your input, my guy. On the on these uh, topics we bringing up, my guy. Shit. Now we just talk. We talking about general. We talking about like how people are just pretty much <laughs> brainwashed, and they don't fucking listen to fucking reasoning and logic. They just go by a uh, popular opinion. Hold on, back, back, back to the Akuma thing for. You wanna? Are we backtracking? Nah, I'm, 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 I'm gonna let Tenez go in. Tenez, what you say? Go ahead and speak, Mike. Pretty right much. Here. <laughs> Kazomi didn't win Evo. <laughs> Just But hold on, you mentioned an interesting point because, like, uh, remember when Lily was a fuck with was a dead character in Tekken in 2018, and then Ni won a tournament, and they were, all of a sudden she has the best sized up fucking ever, and then that was proven wrong because there was a character in this game with better sized up than fucking Lily, and then there was a slew of fucking Lily players. You couldn't go on rank match at all without seeing like 10,000 Lilies. I. Oh wow. KO. Round four. Fight. Well, I mean, the thing is like, okay, say for instance you you know that one time um Ooh, cop. at Summer That's Gym. Looking. Uh, mm -hmm. when Double was using Law, and then me and Chill was like, "Man, we feel like using Law. It's it's the same thing." But we don't hop on the sack, people, though. <laughs> people, people just get inspired. I should say to use the character, because b before that, I didn't have no inspiration to use Law at all. And then right. once I seen him doing all that shit, I was like, "Damn, I might pick up Law again." Yeah, but see, I I, I get what what CJ saying. That's perfectly true. But people take it toward the goddamn extreme. Like, remember the first time that Arslan won a tournament and they was like, Arslan is the best thing since sliced bread? I'm like, can you really compare his Arslan yeah. resumes to fucking knees? Are you, are you, are you yes. out your rabbit ass, man? I, see, I, th I think the thing with that is, like, people were so... Hold on um, one second, Soul Brother. Seeing... I sure saw a lot of online Bryans in Season 2. And then the JJ, uh, the Jimmy J train. <laughs> yep, the Jimmy J hype train. Yes, exactly. He See, he's on it too. But you were saying, uh, CJ? Man, what was I saying? <laughs> 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 Bro, you gotta be quick with it, man. You gotta be quick with it. <laughs> oh, yeah, the 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 um the uh the whole thing with the fucking with, inspiration with, shit. Oh yeah, yeah, the whole double and now uh yeah, that shit, this is wild, bro. But that, again, I think people really do just take it to an extreme, though. And then like the like comparing of resume, it's like when people was like, remember how people like people like fans of Tekken oh, are so yeah. flaky. Like remember That's when JDCR was going through his fucking uh thing where he was failing and like niggas like JDCR just fell off. I'm like, no, nigga, he just can't win forever, yeah, yo. Like can yeah, can y'all are y'all forgetting about this nigga resume? Yes, they had money. We. I was, you know what I'm saying, for shit, so, yeah, most definitely. That nigga resume is fire! I said everybody has they mo they, they, they bad games, they played days, weeks, or whatever, you know what I'm saying, whatever. But CJ, you was about to make a point? Uh, yeah, yeah, I was, yeah, I was, I was, uh, yeah. No, go ahead, CJ. I, I remember what I was talking about, um, the whole resume thing, like, people, they, like, they were so used to seeing Koreans win that they just wanted somebody else other than a Korean to win. It don't. So it was, it was biased. American. Um. Yeah. Exactly. It was. It's. 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 It's the same thing with the with the whole 2D thing, right? Like, like Tekken players hate seeing 2D characters win because they feel like, oh, why are these 2D characters in our game? It should be about martial arts, 
fireball is not taken. <laughs> That's your favorite saying. <laughs> da, 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 da. And, they, and, they, and they and they hate seeing that. Like you can you can literally tell them all the weaknesses, all the things that are bad about Akuma. They don't care because the simple fact it is a two D character. I feel that. I feel that. And and that's and that's and, and and that's what I realize is that you're not gonna change these dudes' mind because they already have their mind made up. Not only that, but see the thing is, once you point out the weakness of Akuma, they have to face it and realize that they're just weak, and they don't want to face that. They don't want to understand that it's my fault for losing. I, and that's that brings me back to another segment. Why are people so afraid to fucking lose on this damn game? They just cannot accept the fact that you just not the best at the game. It's okay. You, you, everybody's not gonna be me. I mean, everybody be drinking the Kool-Aid by the uh, top level player saying, "Oh, you can do it too," and you might can, but not everybody's gonna do it. Yeah, can't everybody do what they do for real? For real? that's how that's how I look at it. I look at it as basically, if I'm actually playing for real, for real in matches nowadays in Tekken, because I'll be playing like like bullshit and shit like that. I don't be caring. I don't play for real a lot, but. More losses I take nowadays. I look at it as an opportunity to learn where I fucked up at, what I, where I could work, what I could work on, like my weaknesses, basically, whatever character I'm playing with on this game. So, I, mean, I don't see why everybody be butthurt about taking losses nowadays. It's a lot more. Man, it's so bad, bro. Uh, it's so bad. Like, like dudes on stream, like it, like especially when it comes down to rank. I'm trying to figure out like what what does rank mean on this game? Like, let's yeah. say when Tekken Eight comes out. Your rank means nothing. You start from scratch just like everybody fucking else. Like, niggas still be clout chasing off they fucking rank. I'm, I'm, com I'm confused. And it's season three of that. I can understand if you just start playing the game, you don't understand that. But niggas that's been playing since June 2nd, we know. This shit don't mean nothing. Or, like, how the, co how the community is, like, toxic. I mean, this community is toxic as fuck, dude. I mean, it's, it's like, not even funny toxic anymore. Yeah, it's it just is. Like, I don't I don't understand why, like, people that's known in the Tekken community and the FGC community of this game, I don't see why people, people be, like, on Twitter and shit, like, oh, we welcome you to the Tekken community with open arms. Um, we're all... Nice oh, the Kool-Aid. Like oh, yeah, the Kool-Aid. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, I'm like, nigga, do you... Nigga, are we in the same second community? Do you see what I see every day? I'm like, hell no. Nah, bro. <laughs> like, that's my Wait, thing. What, what did you say? Who? No, I was saying, like, how people be... Awesome. How, like, people that be known in the tag and FGC community, they'd be like, we welcome you with open arms to our community. It's a great community and shit. As a yeah, and then you got niggas like well, Porchop that's about, that's about to they... punch somebody head off because he lost a match. <laughs> well, I was gonna say that what well, they mostly talking about offline, but I mean you even in offline, offline ain't even good, like, bro. Coming from a person that's been playing offline, it's it's the same. You mm. know who are, who are the best people to be around when it comes down to playing fighting games are people that suck at the game. Those are the best people to be around. They are honest, they are humble for the most part, and they're great to be around. And they 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 My are brother. willing to learn. It's My niggas. Brother, you know what I'm saying? Like for real. It's like niggas at my level that are they they just too they 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 feel too good like they can't learn they like well I know everything there is knowing of, of course your opinion is wrong no you just being stupid for no reason what? like I was talking to this player and and I won and I was telling him what he did wrong and he like well no I didn't do anything wrong you just got lucky and it was laggy I'm like clearly we looking at this di we looking at a different fight because you got your ass whooped. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm just, I'm just trying to help you, dude. It's not, no, it's not an ego thing, shit. When I get my ass beat, I, I mean, I be asking people for help, like, shit, help me. I, I even done it on stream before, nigga. Help me. I don't understand what the fuck is going on. I'm just getting hit. Like, let me fight a Safino right now. I'm, I'm help, nigga. And a lot of niggas, nine times out of ten, ain't gonna help you out with that matchup. They not gonna tell you what to look for. What frame is this? What, what can you punish with it? They not. My thing is like, let's take Red for example. Why won't they leave that nigga alone, bro? Red knows he he admitted on several occasions he's not good at the game. He he has admitted it. People still going after that nigga neck, bro. Leave that nigga alone. They mm -hmm. don't care about that. They just want to see his reactions. Shout of course they do. Yeah, shout, shout out to Red, me. man. Maybe we'll get you on the we'll get you on the podcast one day. <laughs> but no, like like it's just crazy. I'm just fucking stupid. And this is the craziest thing about this community, though. The people that stand there helping it do do the most do the most harm. The people say, "I oh, mean, I do so much for the community. You do the the most harm." 
Mm-hmm. Not saying no names, but if you know if you know who I'm talking about, you know who I'm talking about. I ain't gonna lie, boy. This ice cream is hidden. I'm over here doing crazy shit, but no, nah, man, I, I don't, I don't get it, bro. Like, so what do you think we can do to fix the community? Because right now, like, to me, it's like a gated community. Like, it's just the same people I've been seeing since Tag Fucking Two. I mean, that's how it is in every fighter. How shit, you can't say that for fucking Street head Fighter, head bro. Head. Every time I go on Street Fighter, I see a new fucking face. And MK and Justice, who you see, Sonic Fox, Ninja Killer. No, I'm not talking about the top level, I'm talking about newcomers. Like, shit, every other game has more newcomers than us. Except for probably this year. This year, we, we got some newcomers. This year. Yeah, a lot. I mean, of course, those games are more popular. Not not just that, it's more welcoming. And I thought, like, Street Fighter was ass when it came down to this community. Then I played Tekken, I'm like, oh, I was wrong. I was dreadfully I wrong. wrong. Well, Trash Fighter 5 was still trash, but still, though. Well, I, I understand where you come from, that though. For real, it's like mm, it's, just, it's just those games, like like he said, <laughs> a lot more popular. So I'm just gonna have this podcast without you. Uh, yeah, this has been a, a thought that's supposed to happen almost a month ago. It's just I've been working a lot. Who so, said that? Uh, True Zilla King. I mean, you could be a guest. Uh, the King player, the one that uh, had VSP uh, feeling weird. Oh, that is. Yeah. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. How can you have VSP feeling I mean, VSP had him feeling weird. Oh, I was gonna say. VSP just invited me to a party, too. So, again, like, what do you think we can do to make the community better? Like, and not just talk, I mean, actually do it. Because, like, my thing is, I hear a lot of talking and not a lot of doing. How was your community back in the day? I mean... Uh, me, me personally, I, I just gotta work on myself first before I can work on an entire community. And I can respect that motherfucking answer. I can respect the hell out that answer. At least you being upfront with your damn self. Most of these niggas, they be having delusions of grandeur. I'm going to change the whole fucking community. Loses one time, throws his control at his TV. No shots in this. No shots. But um. <laughs> Or niggas out here like, okay, so how do y'all feel about this whole beef shit that's going on with Tekken? Tanez, you can answer too, like, because you're not, you're not talking, dog. So how do you feel about this whole beef shit that's been going on with Tekken? I feel like it's stupid. I mean, it brings hype, but at the same time, it's online ranked match. I can understand it's if it was beef. offline beef. Like, typical online beef among scrubs and shit. I'm like, what the fuck are y'all beefing about? <laughs> Both of you niggas I, mean, I, I mean, I see let them have it. Let them have a beef. Ain't my business. Well, how do you feel about... A better, a better question. How do you feel about... uh? The overall community, like, pretty much the higher ranks are bullying the lower ranks so they to the point where they can't get better because they can't learn to keep in their ass. Well, they need to play people that's around their skill level. But you got niggas that's making all the counts every day. Several people that I know that makes all the counts every fucking day because they just scared to play on their own count and they be sitting on their damn rank. <clears throat> CJ. Oh. Really? <laughs> nah, I'm just with you, bro. <laughs> I forgot all I was going to say now. That shit just threw me off. Oh, my, my question was to people sitting on their damn rank and, uh, and newer players ain't getting a chance to actually play. They bully in low ranks. They oh, don't get a chance to fucking I mean, play. That, I mean, things like that, I, 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 don't, I don't blame the person that's uh, making accounts. I, I blame the person that's losing to them because at the end of the day. Man, how can you blame that, a person that don't like, know? I, 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 I always tell somebody you always get better by getting by losing. I mean you do it lose, but how, my thing is go ahead. Go ahead. I'm not gonna cut you off. It don't matter how high up, it don't matter how below. If you losing, that's good. If you keep if you keep winning constantly, that's bad. No, I'm not saying that constantly. they should keep winning. I'm not saying pamper them, but I should feel like they should play people at their own skill level. So they can see the like. It's just like me playing sauce. If I tried hard on sauce right now, he would never see the progress. Cause I'm gonna keep beating the shit out of him. Mhm. Mm but that's what I'm saying. Time, if if they if they if he keeps playing people his own skill level, it's kind of like a stalemate. Basically. Okay. Look look at us. Look so at us. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm not, I'm not. Let me say this one thing. Look at us. Right. We've been playing each other for the last two and three years. Right. Mm -hmm. We improved exponentially, and we mostly been playing playing amongst each other. That's what I mean. We've been playing people like at a side our skill level, maybe a little bit better. 
if, if, if mm. let's say you playing Loveless, you could you could play a Loveless a million times, and this is no disrespect, Loveless, he's not gonna learn anything. Let Loveless play somebody at his skill level. He could play us, and we can tell him and give him advice. But he needs to take that advice and get play against somebody at his skill level, then be able to use it to see the I progress. Mean, it's still moralizing. I'm, I'm actually, I'm, I'm actually glad that you brought up Loveless because it depends on the person. It don't lo Loveless. You has, right? He like Loveless. It, it don't matter who he's facing. He's not learning nothing. It don't matter if he's facing people his rank. It don't matter if he's facing us. He's not learning nothing. I mean, okay, so he, we talking about. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. And, and and he's already admitted. Basically, what I told him was because I, I feel like I feel like uh, uh, age like factors in. Like, cause you learn things quicker when you're younger. Mm -hmm. So as you age, the older you get, is is harder the for more, you to grasp. Things. Yeah, the more you get stuck in your own ways. So that's why I feel like him. And then plus he has a job, you know, girlfriend stuff like that. So life and age gets in the way. It's, it's, it's the actual thing. Now, but you can overcome it. I, I'm about to say, I'm overcoming it. it. Shit, I got a job. At the end of the day, those are excuses. But you can overcome them. Right. You but my gotta, thing you is, though, like, time. like, I'm looking at it like this in my head. Let me, let me, let me put it like this. All right. Let's say I'm playing somebody, right? Let's say I'm playing Loveless, right? And let's say he did not have all these external factors in the way. The amount of frustration he would get from keep playing me, it's just like when I kept playing Red. The amount of frustration you would get from playing me over and over again and not learning anything because you keep getting fucking pummeled into the damn dirt. Again, you are right. It, it depends on the player, but the frustration level. And people don't have the attention span. Let's be real. People do not have the attention span to sit here and try to learn this game for real, for real. Not they're not everybody's not like me and you fucking the CJ. I love learning. Like I will sit here and be in a lab all fucking day like I was today. I don't I don't mind. It doesn't bother me mm. none. But the average person is not like that. <laughs> they they like man, I'm not getting no dubs, no instant gratification. I'm up out of here. Fuck this shit. Ooh, I'm not nice okay. I'm not playing people at my fucking level, so I keep losing. They ain't gonna play no more. Right. So we end up, and I, uh, now I feel for Harada. Now that I thought about it, I'm like, well, you can't please both crowds. You can't because if you make the game too easy, yeah, you lose the competitive edge. But at the same time, if you make it too damn hard, you lose the newcomers. Mm -hmm. And now that I see that, I have a, I, I guess I have a, a different perspective on it. I'm like, I guess it, it tried its best to kind of try to bridge that middle ground. Welcome to the King of Iron Fist but at the same, it's definitely not as hard as, um. The older ones. Too. It's not as hard as the older ones. But it's not. It's as easy. easy as revolution. Of course not. It's like the, it's like bridging the gap, kind of trying to anyway. But the overall mindset of people, though, it says they're just weak. They don't yeah. want to learn. No, they don't. They 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 too lazy. To and I and 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 I come and I've come to that realization and that, and I noticed that in a lot of LT. See, the my 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 problem. What me is I, I hold I on one second one second one second to... true uh true Zilla King you can be a guest on the next episode I guess we'll be doing this what a weekly yeah, what day we yeah, weekly uh shit like, we'll just yeah, we we'll... gotta choose a specific day because we can't just be like oh we're live uh, <laughs> well how about I guess Saturday or or uh, on Saturdays. Or Friday, Friday nights. I mean, that's good for every one, all each one of us, for the most part. Friday nights to me is good because I'm off on Fridays. Uh, that's that's good for me. Uh, what about y'all? Yeah. I guess I can do I Friday mean, I night. I work on Friday, but I yeah, I'm you're off tomorrow. Time, so. so and you then you're off um, tomorrow. What about you, Tanez? That good for you, man? Fr uh, Friday. Friday night. Friday night is I mean, the all uh, podcast not, night. Not all of us have to be on at the same time. Exactly. Like two people. Two 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 people is the minimum. All right, two people is the minimum. So you work this Friday and you off next Friday, right? Okay, right. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. See, see what I'm, I mean? I'm, I'm, That's side step. I'm, I'm yeah. Oh wow. I didn't. I didn't even mean to do that. Right. We'll most likely try to start a little, a little earlier for everybody else and convenience though. So when we don't start late and then we may miss a person in the episode or something like that. So. All right, that makes sense. Talking. So, yeah, how do you feel about the, the player gap, uh, Tenez? The player gap, what we've been what we've been talking about. 
bridging the gap between uh, the difficulty and being easy because you know how players get frustrated because they're not winning. I mean, like, I don't want to go scientific, but that in, that endorphins or those uh, that dopamine oh, rush you get from uh, from winning, bro, people love that shit. Nobody wants to know that they're a fucking loser and you have a big ass screen saying that you lost every time you get your ass smacked. But you know, another thing I realized too, like, people suffer from what I call the red syndrome, and it's nothing personal towards red, but they just, they give themselves too much credit. They, they, they think they're better than they actually are, and then they get mad because the reality is you're not. You, you're just not. Right. So, Tanez, what, what, what's your input? Get back one, nigga. No, it, uh, that's not what I said. You, you misquoting me. If you're fighting a person that's vastly better than you, you're not going to learn much. Unless they're mm -hmm. breaking it down step by step. Yes, you, you learned the person. That's what you learned. That's how you was able to beat him. You learned his habit. Yeah, you learned him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm talking about a person. But see, you are capable enough where you can actually adapt. A lot of players, they're not at that level where they can actually adapt yet. They can't adapt to other people's play yet. Final Fight. Right. See, right. it's just like it's like again, like what what uh CJ said with Loveless earlier. He's just not there yet. He can't adapt. He just doesn't. He's not good enough to be. He doesn't acquire that skill, in my opinion. Yeah, and um, I want to give my in input on that too. Like I try to like help him out as best as I can, and like maybe the earlier seasons, maybe like. At close to the end of season one, going into season Fuck two, you, nigga. over there, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, like he'll put up a sharp play. Oh, I watch no. him right match. Like oh, I'll no. let him know what he was doing ah! wrong, and, and he can try to work on it. But it's like, like I deserve that. Said, he's not, he's not all the way there. You know what I'm saying with the game mechanics and everything like that. So it's like he's never gonna really learn the game for real, for real. I wouldn't say Unless never. He, well, it, unless it's just, like, the, it's just the learning, the, the time gap is going to be extremely long compared to a yeah. person that, and this is yeah, not an insult yeah. to the community, but a lot of, again, like I said before, the community is very condescending and they're, again, they're not as good or as smart as they think they are. No, they're just, yeah, yeah. They're, they're not, <clears throat> that people don't want to admit it, but they're not. I thought I was a fucking tech and genius at one point and I realized, no, not really. You got a lot to learn, buddy. I mean, Slow your I roll. mean you, you are the frame god, you know what I'm saying? Chill, I am not the frame, not the frame god. If I was the frame <laughs> god, I wouldn't be, I, I wouldn't be worried about no damn Zafino right now. <laughs> Hell no. It's just that I have, the, I have a thing called legacy skill. I've been playing tech and long enough where I have legacy skill. That's it. A lot of the things that I know, they they come over from pre, they uh pass over from previous Tekkens. Oh, so you cocky because you legacy player? Okay. No, I'm not cocky at all. I just said, bro, I, I get as we clearly saw earlier. I would be getting decimated if you let if you let the fucking uh YouTube hype beast tell you. Oh man. <laughs> oh, speaking of Zafina, uh, now good 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 thing you brought that up. Remember how everybody was saying Safina was gonna be trash, including myself, and she turned out to be actually pretty damn good. I didn't say that. I said she was gonna be decent. To me, to me, to me, I was saying like I really because, don't be, care. Re, re, remember where I re, remember that I said that because she's a stance, stance heavy character. character. Yeah, that she was gonna be decent. Same thing with Eddie. Same thing with Lay. Uh, shall you? You know, characters that have. A lot of I I feel like if you have a stance, you have leverage. You have more options to work. With. Of course. So like Jen, like Haring. Like Jen is not a real stance character to me. <laughs> okay. Oh, all right. All right. So like Haring, like Lars, basically. Mm, Lars. Yeah. Lars is not no true stance character. 
I mean, look, bro. He has. I mean, most of his good shit come from his stance. I mean, his yeah. wall, both his wall bounces come from well, both true. his stances. I would say you uh, like a Josie high power crust. That's like with the Josie. That's basically the same properties as a uh, whiplash or backlash, whatever the fuck. Mm -hmm. um, backlash. You had a right backlash. But my thing is, so people like again that over that overestimating themselves thing. Like they they should really get the fuck over themselves. Like that shit is really really annoying. Damn, to what happened, man? Did you uh again, again me me Percy? I just I just let them have it. I don't, I just don't let people bother me. Like I don't I don't really care about all that. It's hey, like, I, okay, I feel you it. Think you could, cool. <clears throat> but I have, to, I have to learn that more. My bad, scrub. Uh, no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. That more growing up, I have learned that shit the hard way to like really like not let people get the best of me and shit, and not really really. Let me act like a fool of myself in front of them and shit like that. So it's like applying that shit to the game now. I did a lot better with that. Obviously playing the video games and shit like that. But uh, with real life situations, too, and real people, and in reality, I've done way better with that shit. And recently, in my yeah. Past what, what 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 y'all gotta realize is that in in pretty much in gaming in general, like it's just filled with a lot of casuals, and then it's like that small percent. That, that go like hard. Us, that go hard. That are hardcore. And, and, and it's no, the same it's thing with LTT. Them. It's a lot of casuals in that group, but it's a very small percentage that actually know what they're talking about. Yeah, but no, the no, thing no, about no, it, no, a lot no, of the casuals, no, like the polls is hardcore. My thing is, people yeah, think no. hardcore, they think they're not casual because they play the game a lot. No, you can play the game a lot and still be casual. Yeah. No, you're right. Most definitely. I mean, we got people out here that got thirty thousand wins at Gimbu, so like, you you can definitely, you can definitely play the game a lot and still be a casual. I, I don't I don't get the logic. People just, and especially just, LTT. Just LTT is like when I enter the t LTT, it's like entering the twilight zone. I don't know what the fuck be going on. Niggas just be saying shit. It don't make any sense. But the entertainment at LTT is funny though. Whenever you see that's why I go there. I just go there for entertainment. I go there whatever. for entertainment, but see, when I turn my brain on, I get a headache. From listening to them, <laughs> you see the memes. You see niggas getting fucked up in matches. You see niggas saying, "Oh man, I wish I would have did this punish or this or whatever." You see motherfuckers getting called out for rage quitting or whatever. You know what I'm saying? That okay, speaking of, speaking about that, how do you feel about people trying to control the narrative when it comes down to content? Like, like let's say a person gets beat, right? Mm -hmm. The person won the set, but they only showing the highlight clips of them. Like they they control the narrative, but see that now that the first don't. I feel like the first person to upload is the other person that has to leverage because they ain't really gonna listen to what other other person has to say. I've had this happen to me, where I upload the set and they like, oh shit, well he did win, but well, well they still go like, well you got destroyed. I'm like, clearly, the footage shows that he won one I mean, game. A lot of people that be really talking shit like that, obviously, still. I mean, well, I ain't saying everybody, but a lot of people that be talking shit like that to be like, oh well, say for example, like, oh. Scrub, you got destroyed by that dude. I'm pretty sure you can destroy the nigga that was just talking shit to you. I'm pretty More sure probably trash him. Most definitely. I'm pretty sure the nigga that's talking shit and not trying to really get what he can from the match and shit, he, I'm pretty sure that he's a scrub at the game and he's probably a crack casual and I'm pretty sure that you can probably destroy that person. Well, majority of them, not all of them because you know what I'm saying, obviously not all of them, but yeah. So, no, I can't beat everybody. I'm not going to sit there in front of yeah, myself right. like that. <laughs> But uh, it's the my thing is people talking and they can't back it up. Just like people oh, that yeah, they be like, I go to all these terms. I'm like nigga, you don't go no goddamn turn. Stop lying. Like can can take a place. Can we just all agree to stop fucking lying? Like stop stop flexing. It's okay, bro. You you didn't you didn't you didn't go to the tournament, dog. Especially LTT, they be lying a lot too. Woo. Oh man. Mm -mm. Oh no, me and me are me and me are best friends. Nigga, we hang out mean. all the time. Niggas be fucking hi time. fucking hype beast. I'm like, nigga, shut the fuck up. Nigga, you we know we know you don't know any dog. I really I also don't be fucking with like basically when people be going in LTT and they be like and this and this is just saying in general, this just ain't for like nobody or whatever, it's saying in general. I hate when people be like, oh well Ooh, shit, I got two rounds that? stuff off of I had went to this. Dude. I had went to this. This major Ooh, tournament. Oh, that that uh, nigga saw just open up a can of worms because I hate that shit too. Yeah, yeah, you, you already know what I'm finna get to. Yeah, yes, so like, bro. 
It's like I hate when people like I won one people game people off this nigga, but lost I'm twenty. Like, yeah, like I had got like two rounds up off. Let's say JDCR for example. I got two rounds up off him in like whatever tournament it was, whether it was Summer Jam, whether it was a tournament, whatever big tournament they got down there in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Kumite, whatever. No, and no, that's, that's like, Texas. Kumite is Texas. Final round is okay, Atlanta. Okay. Like, like a fi final round or like an Evo or something like that. But it'd be like, yeah, you got two rounds up off the dude, but you didn't get a whole game off him. You, you didn't win. Like my, you didn't win. Like, my nigga, he came back and bodied your ass. Like, it's like, come on now. That's what I just... I that that goes back that goes back to the fucking clout chasing. People will have to stop fucking clout chasing. Like, right. why can't you be the average casual? Just take a picture with the nigga and be happy. No, man, I beat him two rounds. Nigga, so what? Two rounds don't mean me and Me and CJ was talking about that same shit earlier. Like, it's like, good players, decent players are not allowed to have an off day. Not not on Tekken 7. You are not allowed to have an off day. If you have an off day, all of a sudden you trash, you fell off, you weak. Nigga, I be beating <laughs> this nigga all the time. Nigga, nigga, it, it, the crazy thing about it, this shit happens to me, right? And I'm nobody. Right, I have a YouTube channel, I have a Twitch, I have a Twitter. I do what I do. I try to I try to get uh, followers and all that other stuff. But uh, right now I'm nobody, right? Niggas be coming up to me like, nigga, I beat you like like seven. I'm like, nigga, who the fuck are you? I don't even know who you are. I don't even remember playing you. I mean, uh, the seven O is a bit of exaggeration, but yeah, man, I beat you in rank match. When? How? And then I play him again, and I'm like, you beat me. Mm -mm -mm. How that happened? It said, remember that time where, uh... Remember that time that, uh, fucking, uh, uh, Son Goku won uh, a fucking game against fucking Okumu and his jack, and he was goddamn parading around like, I'm like, this nigga, okay? Come on. This might be what was that? Remember in season one, and he got a game off his jack, oh, and he yeah. yeah, and he came back like I'm the man, I'm, I man, I beat a kumu, nigga, so. Right. Niggas act like they have never won a game of Tekken before. Since you not here, I'm just gonna keep punching you in the fucking didn't face. He, didn't he? Uh, oh my man. That. Say what now? Cause didn't he upload that? Cause uh, yeah, he did. He talking shit. Yeah, he did. That was nice. Oh, you might be dead, dog. What? The, what? What in the hitbox? But anyway, <laughs> like I, I don't get it. It's just like it's just like if okay, let's say I'm gonna up destroy it, right? And I just happen to beat you in the game, CJ, and you attacking God. Oh, Am man. I? See, I, I feel like I'm good, good enough at the game where I don't have to, uh, I don't have to be like, I beat this person because, like, I act like I've beaten high-ranked players before. It's not, it's not a big deal. Stop. Oh, wow. How, how do you feel about that? I know you're going to probably hit, hit him with the, you shouldn't care, but don't you find that annoying that you always have to be on guard every time you play a fucking match? Yeah, I mean, it, it does get annoying, but that's why I say that's why I don't play with randoms. Let's play with people that I, that I know. Or this that situation you brought up earlier where uh we ain't gotta name no names, but they was trying to harass the dude to play his fucking main character in a fucking player match lobby and he didn't feel like it. Yeah. Like and shit. Getting destroyed. And end up getting fucking destroyed. Like how do you feel? Like you should like if I was in that person's shoes, I would feel so embarrassed, bro. I got a nigga picking like a side of a side, and I'm picking my main character. This nigga's pushing me to the limit. I'm embarrassed. Yeah. That that's a big old fat L. Big old fat L. <laughs> but Tanez, what, what what you talking about, dog? You you ain't said nothing in a minute, man. How how you feeling about what we talking about right now? That nigga laugh hella funny. <laughs> that nigga sound like he about to say some evil ass shit. <laughs> Tenez, we gonna sit there and lie, bro? <laughs> oh, 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 he said, I mean, he said you don't care I mean, about the player. Tenez did, about just, the did just backtrack, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
I'm about to say, bro. I'm like, I, I watch your stream, dog. I know the truth. <laughs> But, but why do people talk about first of five like we were actually finna fight in real life? <laughs> and can uh, can we say can we all agree to cut it out? Like like we're too old to be talking about how we finna fight somebody in real life on the goddamn video game, myself included. We should we need to cut that shit out. Yeah, Ice yeah Man because it's like that game ain't like that nigga ain't do a goddamn thing. That nigga, bruh. The fact that you challenge the coldest in the game in real life. I <laughs> the, coldest. <laughs> <laughs> the coldest. The coldest. The <laughs> coldest. in the game, bro. But niggas don't want to talk about that. Though. I'm whooping niggas ass on tournament on the big stage. And, and niggas out here talking about I beat this guy on rank match. And you know, it, yeah, I got my one round. And oh my god, I'm so glorious. You notice how he didn't give him the whole the whole match. He gave him one round. Oh man, that clip got you a little bit hurt. Yeah, it did, bro. That kind that kind of that kind of kind of fuck with my spirit a little bit. Oh, <laughs> the earlier? oh man, I probably shouldn't have told for everybody. God damn it. Now my thing is, so like I'm bodying niggas on tournament on tournament stages, bro. What what are you doing? I'm an online warrior looking like fucking Jesus. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> this oh, man, man like he ain't he, bro i'm about to bro like I'm about, I'm about to get toxic bro man like he ain't never left oh, this fucking man. room but that man got a pee bottle on standby yeah. <laughs> 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 i ain't shit but any uh, any uh, how, yeah how be toxic i just said i'm about to get toxic i, I gave i gave a disclaim i gave a warning <laughs> But now, nah, see, I want to be Tanaz rank again, shit. I want to go back to fucking ruler ranks. I ain't never have to worry about no bit nigga trying to flex on me. <laughs> shit, I, like, I'm, that's why I'm scared to go to Emperor. Like, I'm not trying to be like Red. Niggas like, man, you better first to five me. You better death match me for your rank. <laughs> you better death match me for your rank, nigga. Yo, you ain't death matching. You ain't no real one. Oh, you a bitch. You a bitch. <laughs> you a whole oh, bitch out man. here in these streets, man. You, we know who we talking about. These streets, man. You, 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 you not, you not death fetching. You fraudulent. As if this man ain't said he fraudulent already. This man has said it all the time. I'm like, bro, you, you always say, I'm not that good at the game. You are like, leave the nigga alone. Jesus. Well, Damn. I mean, you, you did say that people sitting on their ranks is a problem, so. I, that, it's true, but my thing is, though, at least he admits he sucks. Niggas sitting on their rank is where they fire. Right. I, I I I can't I can't I can't agree with that. You can't sit on your rank and say you fire, bro. Unless you are the only way I say that unless you're a, a second guy at prime. If you're a second guy at prime, and there's nothing else for you to do. You 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 conquered online. I feel like once you you get the second guy at prime, you be online mode. <laughs> 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 I can't take credit for that joke. Somebody else said that shit. It just that just it reminded me of it. But um, <laughs> that was a good ass joke, y'all. Like, yo, I'm dead ass telling that shit. Yeah, that's pretty funny. But back to this Akuma thing, though, because that is the original uh, topic and niggas bitching. But niggas just bitch over everything, though. Yeah, niggas, niggas, yeah. Yeah, niggas. Like everybody complaining. Tech community, they just they just hate 2D characters. That's all. It's like, you don't know what I'm bitching about, really though. Re Titan community really like like CJ just said really has a hate boner for 2D characters like I'm like bro you, you you trash already at the game like nigga like I don't know what you bitch thank about. you that, yo, and, and that, thank and, and that's you. my point it's like they they make they make it seem like the 2D characters like it's the reason why they suck their, their dear hearted Tekken like this isn't Tekken like you would still be trash even if they weren't in the game let, let me put it like this let's take these let's take the 2D characters I, I promise you you'll still probably be at the same rank you are you at like Akuma and Gisa's dog character that's gatekeeping you know you're probably getting bodied by some random scrubby lily player and you just don't know what to do <laughs> It don't like let's like niggas want to put the blame on on one thing. No, nigga, you suck. It's just like the same thing when I think about defense and niggas be like, well, if I just learn how to size up this character one way, nigga, that's not defense. That's just learning knowing how to size up a character. Defense is shutting down niggas' options, knowing how to block and punish correctly, and size stepping when it's appropriate. Nigga, you just niggas be size stepping for no goddamn reason and wonder why they get popped in the damn mouth. It's I'm confused. Help. 
<laughs> Niggas just act like if a Kuma or Geese go away, all their problems are just gonna are just gonna magically leave. No, no, it's not. Most definitely. What's good, Pyrex? Welcome to the stream. Uh, what well, I stream? Welcome to the fir uh, first podcast, man. The Online Warriors yeah. podcast, episode one. Akuma complain train. Nigga, Pyrex is in the stream. Yeah, he's in. He's in the podcast, baby. You know, he, he over there, you know, talking his shit. Doing what Pyrex does in Pyrex time, you know, things of that nation. But no, like the people act like it's just like the rage mechanics. People like act like if the rage mechanics goes away, it's gonna solve all their fucking problems. And they're just gonna be taking God primes now. That's not how it works. <laughs> One mechanic cannot ruin the whole fucking game for you. There's a reason why the top level players are still top level players right now. Even in, in no matter what genre you talk, uh, you playing. When it comes down to shooters, they can change all the mechanics they want to. The top shooter, the top uh, ranking shooting play, shooting game players, they're gonna still be top ranking. And same thing with Second Street Fighter X, Y, and Z. They still gonna be top ranking. It's just that the people want to sit there and use the fucking oh, well, they rage arts is a crutch. I mean, I used to, I hate, I hate the mechanic myself, but I don't use like that's the reason why I'm fucking losing because you fucking rage arts. I mean, think I like about the it. Rage art system. And me personally, I, I, I think it's okay. I just feel like it does too much damn damage. I don't think you should get a grip of my fucking health because you can press a button. I mean, it's a super. Hello? Why, how are you even in here? In the group? You sent, you sent it in the group. Oh, okay, 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 okay. My bad, my bad, my bad. Well, man. <laughs> No, no, this is the, this is the first podcast. Well, welcome to the podcast, Loveless as a guest. We, we will be doing these oh, every oh, week. Yeah, this is a podcast. Podcast. My bad. No, you're good. You can stay. You can stay. We, we, we talking tech in anyway, so. Yeah, Loveless, we're going to need you to come back or not. Um, Loveless, you're going to come back later. <laughs> really? Y'all going to do my man? Like that? Yeah. <laughs> hey, now I'm just going to stay here out of spite. But anyway, anyway, like niggas really feel like one mechanic is just gonna change their fucking life. Just like this whole Akuma situation. Oh, he got a couple of buffs. What name his buffs? He got a fucking he got a fucking a new power crush, and what else did he get? Uh, his, got, his demon, his raging he demon. Frame. He got better frame advantage. He needed that shit. What? What? He didn't get had no fucking frames. Okay. Okay. Hey, that's the thing. You can have all the buffs in the world. It's not gonna change your skill level. No, no. Like a shit. nigga, my, my what I'm complaining about is still to this day is law. I've been complaining about that nigga since season one. The moment I saw 14 frame launch, I like this is not it. <laughs> 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 but nobody like niggas want to complain about a Kumo. There's nobody that's want to talk about Marduk. Nobody. No, I want to talk about Marduk because he keeps murdering me in one combo, then wrestling me to the ground. Like, I had a Marta kill me with no meter and one combo, but we, we ain't gonna talk about that nigga, though. He, he's out the issue. Hell. It's these Akumas out here that's ruining folks' lives, Doug. The same Akuma that has no fucking poking tools, really. He's the one ruining people's lives. Yeah. It's, it's geese out here ruining people's lives. No, no, nigga. The one that, that, that lost... They literally took fucking the fangs away from fucking geese. He, where his, his, where his kind of hit the fucking uh, dick jab? <laughs> Well, we gonna give him his Gale Slash. Mm. I take the dick jab. I'm gonna be honest. With you. I don't even play geese like that. Fuck, I got. Mm, I'm just doing stupid shit again. I just, I just want peeps to stop picking on Josie. It's not too much to ask. Josie got buffed. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. still a cringy character. And my thing is though, if niggas wanna complain about buffs, we ain't complaining about these Josie and fucking Brian buffs. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, because we like Brian and Josie, but because of Kuma's 2D. Nah, nigga, I don't fuck with Josie, I ain't even gonna lie, I don't fuck with that cringe here. What you got against Josie, sauce? Nigga, nothing, nigga, I don't fuck with that cringy-ass character, though, shit. <laughs> he said cringy-ass character. Trying to be like fucking Bruce, bitch, you I mean, Bruce. hold on, that is true, though, that is true, and, and, and even though you hate fucking Paul, I have to agree with you, Paul got a fucking retarded buff. Yeah, that nigga. They why did they? Like, why oh did they buff? No, they nerfed him in season two. They nerfed his damage in season two, and they buffed. They buffed but him back man. again in season three, and gave him new strings, and made him fucking stupid with the three. With the three two. Why did they give him that three two? So now he got high mid high now. Oh, I mean, well, mid high mid. Frame traps. Yep. Stop it. 
For no reason. Wait, bro, I mean, who doesn't know that you can block the two? Apparently, people who get whooped by it. But here's the thing, though. Here's the trick thing. If he goes in the backswing, you just happen to do a fucking high. Goodbye to your health bar. It's all over. But mm -hmm. we ain't gonna talk about that Paul damage, though. We ain't gonna talk about that Paul damage. We ain't gonna talk about that Josie. We ain't gonna talk about that Brian, them Brian buffs. We ain't gonna talk about that shit. No, we we worried about Akuma. I am. I have never been worried about Akuma a day in my life, ever. Is he annoying? I understand. Yes, he is annoying. But is he is he that much of a deal where niggas out here in the uproar? I'm, I went on Twitter the other day, and I, I see a list. Oh, my God. Fucking Akuma is just so strong, and I can't take it. I'm like... You ass. You you just have to be ass at the game. Because all right. the things that that people are complaining about, he had in season one. Besides yeah. the power crush and the fact that he can uh he can do his rage art off of uh off a of tailspin now. He he like in season one he could already take your life in one combo. Nothing really that much changed. It's just easier for him to do so. Niggas, mm -hmm. niggas are always bitching though. It's, it's okay. It's okay, bro. But see, this that's the name of the podcast for tonight. The complain train. The Akuma complain train, bro. And I guess we're off in the post this. I'm posting this on LTT. Let's go. <laughs> I'm sorry, but if you main any of the Mishimas and you're complaining about Akuma, stop it. Hold on, hold on. I gotta hear your opinion on that. I gotta hear your opinion on that one. Please. Oh, like, oh, so Nez don't I'm like him. Like, yeah, that's right. That makes sense. No, no, no. I, oh, no, no. It's okay. I want the smoke. I want it. Okay. No, I have to hear I, it. I have to hear what you're saying. I, like, I got this. Have to make logical sense for me. Okay. He said. He said basically, the if you make any of everything pass for this, is Kazuya because I tried Kazuya once. I, I, for the life of me, don't understand how you Wait, make that character on. work. And why are you struggling with Kazuya name? Why are you why are you struggling with your addicted addiction to Burger King? Don't interrupt me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why are you and we are getting spicy, ladies and gentlemen. You can, uh, get tomorrow. Yeah, let's uh, let's let's edit this part out. Can we, yeah, can we actually say, stick to the podcast? <laughs> we stick to the podcast. Get you a better barber. <laughs> Shit. I will try my done. best. Yes, I, I'm done. He's the one still continuing. I'm still trying to figure out that this yeah, whole yeah, uh, never, nigga, I never you. uh Mishima I'm man so shouldn't weak. complain about. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what Love has got to say about because uh why Misha man's good. Please. But they nerfed Tiachi though. Are you sure? I can't tell because he's still out here killing niggas. They nerfed his fucking. They nerfed his sweep. That that shit does less damage. I mean, it's not a monumental nerf, but it, yeah, they nerfed it nonetheless. But why can't Misha must complain about Akuma? I mean, I'll agree with you. I just want, I just want to hear why. It feels like okay. So you're finding Mishima. Let's say I, 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 I actually agree with him, but it's probably for a different reason. But go ahead. I, I want to hear why first. James yeah. the The reason I say this is because a lot of Mishima players. At least some of the ones I know, excluding some of you guys, be doing the absolute most when we fight. Like check, like random ass sweeps, ducking for no reason, electricing f just for the sake of using electrics. Like well, yeah, pe people know. use people use electrics as a fucking jab. Exactly. Just like I'm like, okay, we starting the match. What you gonna do? Electric. Like okay. Okay, you started with that. Okay, what else are you gonna do? Another electric. I'm like, my guy. Okay, we get it. You have our electrics. Calm down. I mean, like, it is I one of most. It is the one of the best launchers in the game, hands down. It is, but to use it like all that five movement. times in a row at the beginning <laughs> of a match, chill. Nigga, CJ, stupid. <laughs> That's what I be saying. Doing all that movement, bro, just to do nothing. <laughs> But yes, uh, uh, Pyrex, uh, CJ is Barbara. But like, I just feel like a lot of machines be doing just a bunch of extra shit and wasting movement. Okay, so why shouldn't like, they complain about I Akuma? Complain. Like, you've seen my Josie, so I really can't complain about extra movement. Uh, I'm just trying to hear the point. Like, okay, so like, what's the point? Why can't they complain about, is... uh, I got, that's what I'm trying to hear. <laughs> my point is, like, they do all the, the Kumas do all this damage 
for no reason with all this movement and Mishima's be doing half of the same thing. See, I'll agree with you, but here's the point, the reason why Mishima's can't really complain about fucking uh, Akuma. Mishima's have been stapled for doing hell of amount of damage. I mean, absurd amount, especially Hiachi, absurd amount of damage. The same kind of damage Akuma can get without meter. So yeah. I don't, that's why I look at Tekka players that complain about Akuma, because I used to complain about it too, and then CJ made a good point, I'm like, we get the same damage without the meter. Yeah, no meter. So needed. if you want, yeah, so that, if I was, that, I'll, that, go ahead. No, nah, I was going to say, that's my, that's, that, that was, that, that's my whole thing with 2D characters in general, is that they need meter to pull off that damage, whereas regular Tekken characters, they don't need meter. Okay, here goes. It was that, it was that whole thing where, 2D characters have stipulations put on them, whereas Tekken characters, they have no restrictions. They don't need meter to do anything. 2D characters need meter to do stuff. It. Yeah, I feel that. It took me a while to, to, like, to like admit it, but it's the truth. I mean, shit with Hiyashi, I could just, I could kill. Like, right now, like, believe it or not, Julia's in kill range. <laughs> One big hit and it's over. <laughs> Indeed. But now nah, again, the the fucking Tekken nerds, the ones that that actually don't are not good at the game. That's what that's weapon got. Akuma's fucking broken, but we ain't gonna talk about Hiachi's damage from season fucking one. What the pure murder? Like it's just, I don't know. I'm just so tired. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like it's it's it's, it's maddening. Like and the thing about it is, like, oh, oh, while we talking about that, people that always complain about how Mishima's are the hardest character. Have y'all ever played any other character besides Mishima's? Like, I, I play a, a multitude of characters, so I could honestly say without a shadow of a doubt, Mishima's are not the hardest to me. Y'all could sit there and say, but the main man, sweet, y'all could suck my dick on that one. Play Lee. <laughs> Play Lee, please play Lee and play Julie and tell me the same uh, thing. Like, I know, you know, this is gonna be a popular opinion, but I do not care as much about the main man as most people think I should. Like, at all. They, they, they nerfed him for no reason in season three. I'm like, why the fuck did he need to be nerfed? He didn't get fully nerfed, but the shit they did to him, like, that was uncalled for. GM was saying he got buffed. He got buffed, but he, he got he got hit with the law treatment. He got buffed in certain ways, and in other ways he got nerfed. I mean, shit, I could play stupid with Hiyashi all day. I ain't gotta work. I've had a lot more problems with, like, Leo than Lee. How did I not hit? Like, I, I don't know what it is. I just cannot work that person at all. Oof. Back one. What happened to Leo? Speaking of which, she just dropped off the face of the planet, off the face of the fucking tier list. Like, I don't be really seeing Leo's out here. Alright, man, we about to wrap it up. Uh, final thoughts? Sauce? Tenez? I guess Loveless? We are so, at the hour mark. We... Oh, I don't know. At the hour mark. Mm-hmm. Came shit, went by we fast, around, didn't it? Dude. That shit went fast, didn't it? <laughs> shit, we go, shit, we go another 30 minutes, she Let's get it. Nigga, I gotta yeah. go to words. Yeah, I know. That's what we <laughs> I feel like Red should just go ahead and do first to five for fucking Akumu just so he'll shut the fuck up. I, I, I feel that. So, Tanez could have another notch really... on his belt? <laughs> Alright. 
I think I think that whenever you know what I'm saying, Loveless does actually take the game seriously and he gets better at the game. I believe shit since him and CJ always having drum sessions. No, it's him and Red. Uh, no, no, it, it's him and Red. Him and Red. Oh red. yeah, yeah, you right, you right. Not from Loveless. Loveless and Saucer yeah. first of all, right now they about the same skill level. <laughs> <laughs> See, y'all would drop kick your ass right now. Stop playing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, like, if Loveless, like, actually, like... I my phone on my... I almost beat his law. Like, several times. I'm getting oof. there. That's a big oof. Oof. Damn, man. You said, man. Hey, look, man. You, if you get in there, man, I can't wait to see that first of five. That's going to be a good first of five to watch, man. Straight up. Oh, I right. the first person on first of five. Besides Bushnell, I definitely want to kick his ass. Okay. Oh, man. Oh yeah, Chill Chill got a vendetta against that man. That man would not play me. But anyway, uh CJ, what's your final thoughts, dog? Um <laughs> Listen. Tanez, you had your turn. <laughs> Hey, that nigga Tanae is pumped up now, bro. We getting to the end of this shit. This nigga pumped up. Now, nigga, I know, I know, right now, I know, <laughs> not now you want to talk. <laughs> but, uh, um, final thoughts, Kuma's not broken. Uh, LTT niggas is garbage. And... Definitely going on LTT. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so your final thoughts. Not everybody in there is trash, though. So not everybody. Um, how I feel is if basically, like, based yeah, off, way. like, the, the last thing that CJ did say, not not everybody else is trash. A lot of niggas' opinions don't count. A lot of niggas are like scrubs. They're butt, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so it's like, trash, I feel as if, but as a tech community, we, <laughs> I feel like as a second community, we got to do better, you know what I'm saying? And hopefully we can talk more about that in, like, the second episode next week. Like, you know what I'm saying? I believe the first episode we did was pretty good. Uh, I feel like there wasn't nothing wrong with it, for real, for real. Had to iron some old shit out, but um, other than that, everything was pretty good. Damn, um, I've been home all day. If I knew you was pulling this, I would have been here earlier. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Uh, who else final thoughts? Shit. It's mine, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, Wait, did, we, did we get Tanez? Oh, never mind, yeah, we did. Tanez was first, and then he went on a fucking yeah, rampage talking about how he got to beat the crap out of Bushnell. <laughs> <laughs> Alright oh, man, let me go ahead and uh, sign us on off man My final thoughts as far as our first podcast Welcome to the Online Warriors Podcast Episode 1 Akuma Complain Train once again My final thoughts are Niggas need to stop fucking clout chasing Niggas need to stop being lazy and learn the matchup Niggas need to get over themselves and understand that just they're just not that good at the game. And once you realize you're not that good at the game, that's where you actually start getting good at the game. Once you realize that you're not that great, you start to learn how to play the game. Now you're not being as willfully ignorant. But with that being said, guys, I'm going to have to go ahead and close it. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Anybody got any, any, anybody want to plug their social media while the, while we're here? Anybody want to plug their social media? Uh, yeah, follow me on uh, Snapchat. Say your name first so they know who you are. Yeah, I right, look so on Snapchat. It's, hey, look, hold on, hold on, CJ. Shut the fuck up. I right, bitch. I right, look, it's my time. So, yeah, I right, am so on look. Facebook, Burger King 6. <laughs> 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 All right, hey, 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 look, so my name is the sauce, obviously on PlayStation. My real name is Malik. Uh, follow me on Snapchat. Sauce four, S A U S E four. You know what I'm saying? Add me up on there. You know what I'm saying? Boy trying to get his views up. You know what I'm saying? Fat, fat boy game. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Tanez, you you got, you got anybody you trying to plug? Tenez, you Tenez, got any social plugs? Time, you need to get a better mind, but I don't want to shut up to this. Hmm. Tanez, your plugs, your social plugs. Yeah. Yeah. All right, CJ. Your uh social plugs. Yo, what's good? It's CJ. Uh, you can go ahead and add me on PlayStation. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you really want that smoke, nigga? You really want that smoke? <laughs> <laughs> Niggas gonna be adding you, hey CJ. <laughs> nah, you, you, you still write ASMR channel? CJ, CJ the ruler. Um. 
I also have a Facebook. God, D Law. That's G A W D space D dot space L A W. And uh, yeah. All right, love this. Is there anything you want to say before? Go ahead. One more thing. Um, follow your boy Malik on Twitter. Let me figure out what my Twitter name is real quick. How are you? This is a podcast, nigga. How do you not know your own social plugs? Look, nigga, I don't be on Twitter that much. I, bro, I don't be on there with shit funny like a motherfucker. All right, so follow me on Twitter. Um, you know what I'm saying at Sauce S A U S E. That's with a U, not a C in Sauce. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Uh, other than that. Right on script. That's, that's all. That's all I gotta say. That's all, that's all. all right. Uh, love this. Since you are the guest that came extremely late, definitely CPT time. And is there Ooh. anything else you want to say before we sign off? We need to start smacking niggas in 2020. <laughs> wait, 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 you go, wait, that wait, is wait. definitely getting clipped. That is getting clipped. That is getting clipped. Hold on. Why? 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 Any Sorry, social stop. plugs you want to let us know about before I sign out? <laughs> well, I have a Twitter at LovelessGXB at Twitter. Follow All me. right. And with that being said, my social plugs are the same. Twitter, Facebook, and on YouTube and Twitch. The Chilled Scrub, please follow me. Support the podcast. Y'all have a great morning slash night. And we'll like catch that. you next time. <laughs> Deuces.